Today, we'll find the derivative of secant x using the first principle's definition of derivatives. Let's start with our function. Let f of x equal secant x. By definition, the derivative is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. Substituting our secant function, we get the limit as h approaches 0 of secant of x plus h minus secant x, all divided by h. Remember that secant is 1 over cosine, so we can rewrite this as the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over cosine of x plus h minus 1 over cosine x, all divided by h. To subtract these fractions, we need a common denominator. Multiplying both terms by cosine x cosine of x plus h over cosine x cosine of x plus h gives us cosine x minus cosine of x plus h over cosine x cosine of x plus h. Now comes the key step. We can use the cosine difference formula, which states that cosine a minus cosine b equals negative 2 times sine of a plus b over 2 times sine of a minus b over 2. Let's simplify the arguments. The first sine term becomes sine of x plus h over 2, and the second becomes sine of h over 2. Now we can split this into separate limits. The limit of sine of x plus h over 2 as h approaches 0 is sine x. The limit of sine of h over 2 over h over 2 as h approaches 0 is 1. And the limit of cosine of x plus h as h approaches 0 is cosine x. Finally, we can rewrite this as sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x, which is tangent x times secant x. Therefore, the derivative of secant x equals tangent x times secant x. To visualize this result, let's look at the graphs of secant x in blue and its derivative tangent x times secant x in red.